let's talk about model view controller. Now, if you're not familiar with model view controller, stick around. If you are, feel free to skip intro. MVC, what's the problem? Scan applications. Scan applications is hard. Everyone in software is always talking about not just scaling applications, but dealing with that on a team-based environment, right? Well, MVC is the start, right? It's the start beyond OOP, beyond design patterns. It's the next step. MVC is taking those design patterns and putting them into a model view controller system of doing things. The solution is to do so via separating the concerns. Data over here, GUI over here, app and business logic over here, right? That's really what MVC's value is supposed to do. The implementation is via model view controller classes or context of MVC over here, MVC over here, okay? The normal way of looking at it is the classic triad. The view shows the model, but it doesn't update the model. The controller gives data to the view and updates the view and changes the view and also listens for when the user clicks on the view and listens to you know, events like submit buttons. The controller is the one who updates the model, right? So that's, that's MVC in a nutshell. There's other iterations of it where, um, like the model itself, you know, can be uh, massaged to be put in a view either. And I'll get to those in a minute. The model is really data in state. It's really global data. If, if it needs to, some view needs to show it somewhere or multiple views need to show it, that's, it goes in the model, okay? The model can also retain state of what state is the person in. Is it saved, is it unsaved, or a high score for a game? What is your score for this level versus last level? What are all the high score you know records, right? That could be the high score model. It retains all that. It has an API to interact with that data. At its most minute form, if you're familiar with Backbone, it's a great example of MVC. Uh, it's the observer pattern. So when this data changes, this code will look at that and say, hey, this changed here. So anybody can build on top of that and go, oh, okay, uh, we have 50 views all listening for this change event on this particular thing. Backbone models do it where they have a change or a change colon property, right? Very neat, simple, easy way to learn. The model is updated by the controller. So even though the model exposes methods, those methods to actually update, modify, delete, or change, create the data are called by the controller, okay? The view shows the model, but doesn't update the model. So the view can go, hey, the data changed, but it can't go, I don't like the data, I wanna change it in this user form. That's not how it works. View is what you see and interact with. If you can see it on a screen and touch it and click it, or click it, it's a view. It shows data, it's basically a viewport on the model or models, right? The controller hears about when somebody taps or touches or clicks the view and responds to it or chooses not to, right? The view can also retain state, specifically such as tab bars, right? I'm, I'm clicked on the middle tab, what state are you in? The controller is like, getting a response that the user wants to exit, but you're in the middle of the wizard. Are you sure you want to exit, right? The views hold that state, not the not the model, okay? So that's another example where it contains state. Uh, it's supposed to be responsive on devices. If you're familiar with responsive design, this is popularized by the web community. They've done a much better job, job of marketing it more so than the native guys who've been doing this for decades. Basically, you have a bunch of views for different devices, right? So the view is responsible for being responsive. And the controller is like, I don't care what view you are, as long as you click on that article button, I'm going to show it. Right? The controller handles the application logic, handles the business logic. It responds to when somebody clicks on a button in a view that does something with data beyond navigation. It could do navigation, does the backbone, right? It responds to those user gestures. When somebody interacts with the view, it's, the controller is going to hear about it and choose to do something or choose not to. Inaction is a form of action after all. It also updates the model. I keep harping on this, but it's important to know. And the reason it's important to know is because it's suspected to be a convention that in the view, you don't update the model, but it's so easy to do so. This is why MVP was invented. <laughs> Does everything else. It could be the bootstrap, it can start up your app, it could do everything. So controller is kind of this vaporous area of tons of code, okay? It's not as defined as the model in the view. MVP was basically what I just said. It prevents the view from ever having a reference directly to the model. The presenter creates stuff for the view to show, but it's not actually a model, right? It massages the data. And it still responds like a controller, and it updates the, the model, but it doesn't allow the view to actually have a reference to the model. It's a little safer. There's a few other important ways, but that's kind of this, the point, right? It doesn't have a reference to the model. There are other variations, the passive view. 
If you're familiar with HTML5 developments, uh, a lot of the web frameworks do not have logic in your HTML. Backbone using mustache or handlebars templating is a perfect example where you have a lot of dumb GUI code with no JavaScript, right? You might have a submit button, but it has no code on it. It doesn't have an on-click handler. Those are passive view. They're a view that's passive. It's, it waits for somebody else to actually react to what's changed, right? Supervising controller, the view is capable, such as handlebars, of doing a little bit of logic and massaging it. But the supervising controller, such as a backbone or angular um, directive, they're responsible for massaging that data and shoving it in there so the view can actually have an easier time of displaying it, right? Another one's presentation model. That's the complete opposite of the passive view. You have this presentation model responsible for acting upon the model and handling the responses to make VO to show the view and inject it in the passive view. But all the logic for that is in the presentation model. And you know, Microsoft, they see stuff and they're like, we invented that. So model view, view model. That's their invention of MVP. So go Microsoft.